This place is something else. This forest feels endless. It's like a scene straight out of a horror movie. Yeah. I don't know, James. This place is giving me the creeps. Are you sure about this? Come on, you know this is what we do. Besides, our followers are gonna love this. The more haunted, the better. Hmm. I heard some strange stories about this place. Like people seeing figures in the woods. Are you serious? James, maybe we should get out of here. No, no, we need to capture this. It could be something big. Imagine the views. If it wasn't for the curse rumors, this would just be another abandoned house. It's the stories that make it interesting. Look, I think that's the house, up on the left. <sighs> Promise me we won't stay long. I'll wait in the car and keep an eye on things. And if anything goes wrong, we're out of here. Got it? Deal. I'll keep my walkie-talkie on. If you see or hear anything, let me know right away. Yeah, you too. And keep the camera rolling. If anything happens, I want it all on tape. You got it. This is gonna be one for the books, man. One for the books. Did you guys see that? I'm not tripping, right? That car literally just drove into this railing. All right, what, what's happening? What are we doing? Okay, tab is inventory. How do I... One? C for camera? Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, we got some night vision. All right, let's go into the house. So what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing When the Devil Takes Hold. It's a story about a couple content creators, you know, exploring some spooky places. What's this say? Wow, wall of text. All right, here we go. <sighs> In a deeply disturbing and tragic incident, a respected family of four was brutally murdered in their South Carolina home. The discovery of this terrible crime left the small town community in a state of shock and mourning, compounded by the haunting mystery of the youngest daughter's missing body. The victims, Walter and Rebecca Johnson, along with their daughters, Sarah and Emily, were beloved members of their community known for their warmth and kindness. A concerned neighbor discovered the dreadful scene after noticing the family's unusual absence. Inside the home, the bodies of Walter and Rebecca were found in the living room, showing signs of a violent struggle. Tragically, Sarah's, Sarah's body was also found nearby, but Emily was missing. Local, state, and federal authorities launched a thorough investigation, meticulously analyzing the crime scene and collecting witness statements. Initial suspicions fell on a few individuals within the community, but a lack of solid evidence prevented any arrests. Despite detailed interrogations and scrutiny of alibis, no definitive connections to the crime could be established. The Johnson's neighbors were devastated, organizing search parties and prayer vigils in the hopes of finding Emily and bringing closure to the community. The case took a harrowing turn with the perplexing disappearance of Emily's body, despite exhaustive Searches by law enforcement and community volunteers, her remains were never found, leaving investigators and the community grappling with her fate and fueling speculation rumors over the years. Whew. The close-knit community is reeling from the loss of the Johnson family, holding vigils and receiving support from neighboring towns and cities. Just last night, this... <clears throat> This horrific tragedy unfolded, but the quest for justice and closure, closure is already unwavering. Law enforcement agencies are fully dedicated to solving this heart-wrenching case, determined to uncover the truth behind the brutal act. Meanwhile, the Johnson's home now stands as a silent witness to the tragedy that befell them. As South Carolina grapples with the weight of this unspeakable crime, the memory of the Johnson family and the unanswered questions surrounding their tragic fate loom large. Support the advertising merchants of this, your newspaper. Okay. Wall of text. Holy crap. The hell was that? Okay. Let's go in. Let's go inside. 
It's locked. Of course it's locked. Look, there's a small cabin to your left. Maybe it's just worth checking it out. All right, let me have a look. Where? Oh, right here. Is there anything else I can grab? Dear Mr. Thompson, please ensure the lawn is mowed and the flower beds are weeded this week. <clears throat> also, kindly trim the hedges and water the plants in the greenhouse. There is $4 enclosed for your efforts. Thank you for your hard work. $4. Holy crap. He is rich. All right. Is there anything? Aha. If you need any tools, you can find them in the basement. Key is all we needed. All right. I'm assuming this is the front door key. So let's uh let's hop in. Hello. Chapter 1: The Arrival. Let's get our camera back out. Okay, I'm in. This place is even creepier on the inside. I'll have a look around the house. Got it. Make sure to use a night vision camera for better footage. Do we have a choice? This is what it's like without the night vision. How would we how would we navigate otherwise? Okay, there's sound. Okay. So the sound is not from my voice. All right, start making our rounds. All right, that's locked. This is not locked. Okay, it just says explore the house. We do have objectives up here. Fuse. Um, I wonder if that's something we're going to have to do something with. I don't know. All right. Uh Okay. Nothing in that room. It's in this room. Looks like there's a a note. Dear Diary, something strange happened today. I was playing in Mommy and Daddy's room and I heard whispers. It sounded like someone was talking quietly, but no one was there. I asked Daddy about it and he said it was just the house making noises. It didn't feel like that, though. I got really scared and ran to my room. I hope it doesn't happen again. Emily. So that's the body that they couldn't find. Dude, the vibes are... Creepy as hell. Let's continue down here. It's pitch dark in here. Holy crap. I need to find a way to light this place up. Why did the music stop? Okay. It started. It was just restarting. Can I go pee pee? Apparently not. Dude, in this dirty-ass house, there's just a perfect roll of toilet paper. Just chilling. All right. Well, actually, uh, let's leave this open. That way we know we were in there. Another bathroom? What? Oh. Oh, it doesn't have a toilet, so it's just a separate toilet room. Uh-oh. Dude, there's always something behind shower curtains. That's a missed opportunity. Okay, I'm not seeing anything in here. I can't interact with anything, so... Guess we're gonna... Go this way? Looks like this door is locked tight. I need to find some lockpicks to get it open. Lockpicks? So are there, like, no keys or something? Alright, let's go into... Are those eyeballs? No fucking way. It is. Oh my god. 
Those are fuck. That's a person. That's that's a that's a scary girl. Huh. Holy crap. That was creepy as hell. What are these? Oh, lockpicks. Okay, so we can unlock that door. But let's do some more exploring. Okay, we can't go back outside. Okay, there's another fuse there, so we're definitely going to have to do something with these at some point, I'm assuming, since we found two now. Alright, let's go upstairs. Let's go see what's up there. Okay, that's locked. Well, I can't just lock pick it? Like we're about to do to this other door. I think it was this way. Yeah. Because there's the toilet and the bathroom. Okay. Oh, okay, so I have to put the, the lock pick in the, the correct position. Okay, there we go. Fuck! Hopefully I, I have a, a lot of these. Okay. Locked. I found the fuse box, but Aha. all four fuses are blown. I'll need to find replacements to get the lights on. Okay, well, we already seen two. The fuck was that? Oh, new objective? Find the missing fuses. Okay. Okay, let's go in here. I don't remember if there was a fuse in here. Uh, not seeing anything. Okay. Let's move on. Aha. Okay. We got one. No! Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out. Oh, now it's silent. He's out there chilling. Uh uh. No. No. Oh, I see another one right there. Uh. I'm gonna grab this. What the hell? Oh, that's the rain sounds. That scared the crap out of me. Oh, what's this door? Oh. I can't like select that. Okay. All right. I don't think there's anything else in here. Cause they make, they make it pretty obvious when there is something. So I like that cause some games are too hard for my small peanut brain. Okay. I had to figure, uh, I think I already got that one. Okay. So we have two. 98 lockpicks? Damn. Ah! I 
I've been recording for 16 minutes. Give me some time to breathe. Oh, man. My freaking heart. Wasn't there? Oh, yeah, there was another one around this corner. I remember that because the, the fridge was... Nope, nope, nope. What the fuck? Aha! Okay, so we already... Damn, that was quick. I thought it was going to take us off. Brian, can you bring in the big cameras? We need better footage of what's happening here. Got it, James. I'll grab the cameras and be right there. Copy that, brother. Uh, I think it was this way. Insert fuse. All right. Seriously? That's it? Turn on every light in the house. Oh shit, what's happening now? James! What's happening? What's happening? What the fuck? Dude, he dropped all the cameras. Check what happened with Brian and pick up the cameras. Okay. Oh, something's gonna happen. Okay, so... What the hell is this? Oh, place down all cameras. I like that it has the little ghost of the camera, so I, I know where to put them. That's actually super useful. Dude, this game knows me. This game knows that I'm way too dumb for puzzles. Okay, we got one in here. Okay, we got one over there and in here. How many do we have? We have four more. So three more. Okay, three more. Two more. I thought this was a face. The fridge is back on. I like that it lights up the corners. So I can just go like this and like look around. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I gotta figure out where to go next. Oh, that's where we came from. We got that camera. Where are the other camera things? Got that one. We got all that. 
Oh, I thought the table legs were... Dude, I am freaking out. Oh, here's one. There. And we have one more. But where... Where do I put it? Hello? Oh, right here. How did I miss that? I'm just too tired for this right now. Let's set up the sleeping bag in a safe room and sleep a bit. I'll get this sorted out tomorrow. The bathroom looks pretty isolated. This guy just watched his friend get dragged away bleeding. So there's like puddles of blood, streaks of blood. His first action is to pick up the cameras, set them up, make sure we get the content. His second thought is, I'm tired, let's go to sleep. I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that I'm the murderer. Wow. That is one shitty friend. Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure if I was going the right way. Okay, automatically set that up. Okie dokie. Press any key. Where's the any key? Hello? Come in, it's open. Who's that? Sir, we've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. I have a flashlight now? What the hell? What if I want my camera? Hello? Oh, hell no. Hell no. What the hell is this? Can I close this? I don't want anything sneaking up on me, even though this is like the I'm screwed territory. I heard a door open. No, no. Is there someone walking around the corner? Dude, stop doing that. Ryan, are you okay? Please don't jump out of me. Uh, please don't jump. Please don't jump. He doesn't do anything. Back away slowly. Why? Why didn't you help me? Dude, he's like projecting his voice. What is happening? Where'd he go? This game is already tripping me out. What do I do? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get comfy. All right. All right, I'm assuming we're going through this door. What the hell? He walked through the wall? Oh no, I'm locked in. Oh, but this doesn't have the... This doesn't have the lock anymore. Ah! Just got freaking flash banged. Oh, it's just a dream. Thank God it was just a dream. 
But your friend is still dead. Chapter 2. Whispers in the dark. Let's go ahead and get this camera out. I can't pick up my sleeping bag. Are we staying here again? New objective. Check the room where you saw Brian in your dreams. But I don't wanna. Alright. Let's go ahead and figure out where we're going. Uh, It was this way. Yeah, right here. Now there's like there's I mark. need to unlock that door to find Brian. How do I do that? Dear diary, I'm getting more scared. The noises are louder now and they come from all over the house. Last night I heard crying from the basement. It sounded like a little girl. But when I asked mommy, she said I was imagining things. I found a hiding spot in our room behind the cabinet. I don't want to be alone anymore. What does that door mean? Dude, I hate that sound. Okay, so I guess we gotta go find the girl's bedroom, I think. Is this it? No, that doesn't look like a kid's room. Okay, this looks like a kid's room. All right, where okay. is this? This wasn't oh. like this before. What is this? Oh, it's one of those things you need like a ball for. Oh, I need to find the marble ball in the basement. Dad hid my marble balls in the basement. Okay, let's go to the basement. Where's the basement? I don't think we've seen a basement. Maybe this door? I don't know. Oh, wait. That's a basement key? Okay. Oh. Wait. It put my camera away. Okay. <laughs> ah! What the fuck? Okay. I thought I heard something. Why is the music like this? Oh, a key? I wonder if it's to this door. It is. But I now feel like I can solve the maze. I feel like I'm being chased or something. Dude, this music is so scary. Uh, I'm gonna come over here. Just in case I am being chased. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What was that? Oh my god! What, what, the, what the fuck was that? Okay, I don't want to find out, but we got a marble. So let's go try to do... Oh. I kind of want to... I'm going to go look the game up. I want to see if that would actually chase me. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. So <laughs> I looked up a video. Yes, she chases you and she is fast as hell. And there's like lockers you hide in and stuff. I don't know how I did that first try. Oh, but I'm glad I did. Oh, man. Just watching that part on the video, it started getting my heart racing because 
I didn't even realize it. It's like someone finding a giant ass spider under your pillow right after you woke up like it was there the entire night and it just like freaks you out spiders is a bad example for me because i'm not really afraid of spiders but is this oh yeah, yeah this is the room but uh my point stands okay so Okay, so I do that, and then I just, oh, oh, oh. I wonder if I could do this first try, too. Nope. Okay, we're going to go like that, and we're going to go, no! What the hell? Oh, I have to replace it. All right, let's try this again. Go down here, loop up there, go like that, and go like this. I really like these these kinds of puzzles or like little mini game things. Ooh, oh, like in real life, these things are fun. I get bored of them like after like twenty minutes. Because once you figure it out... Okay, cool. I got it. Because once you figure it out and like you do it a couple times, you're like, okay, well, I got it. Let's move on with my life. <laughs> As if I had seen these symbols before. These are the symbols on the wall. 429 on the bottom. Four th oh, they're page numbers. I don't understand. Oh, but they... So the symbols, if you look... Hold on, let me make this right side up. So the symbol, like the top left symbol, you see there's a Roman numeral th Roman numeral 3 and then next to the to the one below it, there's a 1 and then a 2 and a 7 and an 8. And then on the other side there's 6. But the second one down, it doesn't have a number. So maybe that one's zero. And then nine, three. Maybe I should take a screenshot of these. Yeah, I'm gonna take a screenshot. So front page. And back page. Okay. And let me go in. Oh, I tried to take a screenshot with OBS, but okay. Got the screenshot. All right, so let's get back to the room. I think it was this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I got to match up these to the screenshots. Did I just hear something? Because sworn I just heard something. Okay, so we've got the ancient symbols. All right, so this one. All right, let's look at this. Okay, it's this one because. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I bring it over to the side of the screen, shrink it down a little bit, you can actually compare them. So if I go. So this one, the sides come up too far, but this one is perfect. So that's going to be zero. All right, so zero. Now let's go to the next one. Looks like. Looks like this is going to be. All right. So this one is six. Or wait, hold on. So that one goes long. That one's kind of short. And this one's level. So let's see. Okay, so it's this one. So so nine. So nine. And then where's the next one? Oh my god, that car. Uh oh, this one. Alright, and this one. Looks like it's gonna be that one. Yep, so two. And then 
a C. We got three different C's. So we got a five, a seven, and an eight. It looks like it's seven. Yeah, definitely seven. All right, so let's see if this works. I keep hearing stuff, but all right, let's try it. Oh, it lets us now. Okay, so zero. What was it? Nine, two, seven. Nine, whoops. Two, seven. What the hell? Zero. I already had it on zero. Ah! Guess we found Brian. <laughs> okay, where are we at now? What the hell? I can't even jump off. What is this? Hello? Do I have my camera? Oh! Something's about to pop out of this door. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I guess we're back. Bring the camera up. Oh, just kidding. Are we in an infinite loop? Are we in an infinite loop? Do I have my camera? I don't even have a flashlight or anything. This reminds me of uh, PT, the Unreal version. Uh, it's locked. What? Do I have a key? I do not have a key. All right, let's go. Let's go try this door. What the hell? Okay, something's about to happen. Something's about to happen. Don't leave me here. But you're just a radio. It would never work between us. I'm gonna leave it. Something's about to happen. Ah! This game's fighting dirty. This game is fighting dirty. So we get down in the basement and pick up the marble ball. I already did that. I'm not going back down there. Fuck that. Chapter three, Echoes of the Lost. Oh, fuck. Ryan, what did they do to you? Rip. Hold on. I got a Logan Paul this shit. Dear Diary, the thoughts are getting stronger. I tried to find a way to stop them, so I found an old book in the attic. It had strange symbols and words that I didn't understand. When I started reading from it, everything went wrong. My hand began to write things on its own. Things that don't make sense. Today was so much fun. Hey, that was a 180. I played with my dolls and laughed all day, but that's not true. I wasn't playing. I was running, hiding from the voice. Or was I? I don't know. 
what were you like this is a roller coaster of a letter the thoughts are stronger and it's getting harder to remember what's real the voice is in control making me feel things that aren't real i'm losing myself and i don't know how to stop it yeah for a kid it's as if two completely different voices are battling for control on the same page Yeah, for a kid, she's got uh, she's got a lot of deep thoughts. Oh, I have my camera out still. Okay, what are we doing now? I already did this. I am not. I am not going back down there. Oh, this door is art. There's footsteps now, or footprints, or maybe that's how they were before. I wonder if Brian's still gonna be out here. He is. So they forgot to take him out of the car. That's hilarious. So if you can, you can kind of see it. If you turn your brightness up on your phone or your computer, you can see his face is still, he's like sitting in the car like this. That's hilarious. All right, check the attic. I'm assuming that's, ah! what the fuck? I'm assuming that's upstairs. So I guess we're gonna go upstairs. Do we have a key? I don't think we have a key. Will it just let us in now? Ooh, it does. And of course, there's a summoning circle. We're prob this is gonna slam. I cannot close it manually. So that is absolutely at least gonna close on its own. Maybe not slam. Pick up the chalk and finish the symbol. But mom, I don't wanna. I'm not gonna read all this, but holy crap. If you guys wanna read it, pause right now. One, two, three, go. Okay. Um, basically just ritual exorcism, chanting, you know, your run of the mill exorcism stuff dude they should have something like peeking through these windows I think that would be super scary the hell use use oh I have to hold it I knew that okay find a lighter and light the six candles Ah, is there a lighter in here? I'm assuming since I don't see the small circle that there is no lighter in here. That's unfortunate because now we have to go back downstairs. All right, I guess we're starting in this room. All right, sounds good to me. Get back up there. I always clear places from like left to right. Not always, but I always notice myself like if I'm trying to clear a house, I always go like left wall strat is usually my uh my strategy. All right, here we go. Uno. Dos. Maybe I shouldn't be standing in the middle of this while I do this. <laughs> Thrace. Cuatro. Cinco. All right, here we go. Shit's about to get real. All right, I need to find the doll, the ancient book, the metal coin, and the old ring. You couldn't have given me all these instructions, like, right off the bat. All right. Let's, uh... Let's see if there's anything up here. Probably not. Like, why would they give you a freebie, you know? Okay. Nothing up here. All right. Here we go. Anything in here? Anything? Yeah. The metal coin. I already forgot the other items. But, yeah, see how I'm, I'm, I stick to the left walls? It just ensures that you uh, are able to... Okay, so a book. 
But it ensures that you're able to, you know, hit everything. And you don't really have to, like, remember where you've been. As long as you just stick to the left. Aha. See? Excuse me, Brian. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, nothing in there. Anything in here? Negative. Next room. There's gotta be something here, right? Aha. Ah! What the fuck? Okay, th that's all of them. All right, so we have four items. Let's get upstairs. Still can't close that. Something's gonna happen. It's gonna close on its own. All right. I can't. Uh, I can't walk over. These already have a hitbox. All right, ancient book. Metal coin. Old ring. Oh, it didn't look like it placed, but it's so tiny. All right, here we go. I thought it was gonna flip upside down, the cross. All right, here we go. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I command you, Astaroth, to depart from Emily. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I bind you, Astaroth, and cast you out from this vessel. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I command you, Astaroth, to depart from Emily. What the fuck? Let's get the fuck out of here. I can't stay here any longer. Don't mind if I do. Oh, we were able to move the entire time. Okay. Uh, it's still telling me to go down to the basement and pick up the marbles. Or pick up the marble. Alright, where was the door? Not that way. Something's about that to door happen. Alright, let's... I guess we're going out this way then. I can't sprint or anything. Oh, it's daytime. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Brian's gone. And even though we have the proof, some things are too personal to share with the world. You're not even gonna make content? Over. But it came at such a terrible cost. Brian deserved better. Is it gonna show me? Or is it me? Am I flying? <laughs> I think I'm flying. Not a bad game. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Good story. Wow. All right. No worries. The, the, the music is copyright free. It's good to know. Good to know. But that is going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to like and subscribe. It helps the channel way more than you know. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, 
I have a link for that down in the description. I also stream every single Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on this channel. So if you're on YouTube on Sundays at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, be sure to stop in, say hi, share a laugh or two at my terrible gameplay skills. But with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. It really means the world to me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.